Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to create a terrain model using Blender, a height map, the object to X model export converter, and a texture of your choosing that you're going to apply to your model in Asset Manager. So we're going to open up and we're going to put this in the model export folder. This is where you need to put everything when you're creating it. So I'm going to go to my computer, C, Program Files, Activision, Call of Duty 4, the model export folder. This is where you need to put it or it won't work. So here you see the object to X model export converter by Brandon Hastings. Then you see the texture that I'm going to use, just an image, color orange, that I'm going to apply to my model in the Asset Manager. Again, so Blender, the height map, X model export converter, and that texture. Okay, so this is a standard object that appears. Press spacebar, erase, select and erase it. Going to add mesh, grid. You're going to choose a resolution, however fine you want your resolution of your eventual model to be. We're going to choose uh, 128 by 128. I actually usually choose 500 by 500. And you see that it created this down here. We're going to just press F5 and under links to objects we're going to add new. And here you see your material. Now whatever you choose to name this material in Blender that's also what you have to call the material when we get to Asset Manager to import it. So just for simplicity, I'm going to call it M. Okay, now you're going to press F6 and you're going to add new under texture here. This is where you're going to import your height map. I'm going to call this T. Just make it simple. T. I'm going to go here to texture type image to import your height map. Click on that. And then you're going to load your texture. I have it on the desktop the height map. So I'm going to go to my desktop, get my height map here, and import it. And there we have it. Okay, see it's called T. That's what I called it. The texture of the height map. We're going to press F9, add modifier, displacement modifier to displace that mesh. So there, and of course, that height map we called it T in the texture. Press T and T, hit enter. You'll see it'll appear there on your, your mesh. Okay, you want to make that dark green so that it shows the image when you're in edit mode. See this, your strength? That's your displacement of your Z plane. It determines how high your hills are. For my purpose, I'm going to make it uh, like 0.1326. That way it scales properly for the map I'm creating. You see it changed it to that scale there. You can play around, make it whatever you want. You're going to go and you're going to UV map it. So you're going to take to, you see, double arrow there at the top of the edge. And you're going to split area. Now here on the left side, I'm going to drag this over so that you can see we're going to go to edit mode. We're going to choose face select on the left side. Drag this up on the right side. We're going to choose UV Image Editor. So you got that. You're going to load your image here on the right side. The height map. On the left side, bring your cursor over, press U, and select Project from View Bounds. You can go to the middle to see the double arrow. Right click, Join Areas. You can go over to the right side and left click, and now you've UV mapped. Okay, so now what we're going to do go to object mode, press tab, and now we've got to scale it. And so that we can see what we're doing when we scale, we're going to go to view, view properties, and we're going to scale our grid upon which we're working. We're going to make the spacing 10, number of lines uh, 100 make the dimension 100 again. 
or 10 rather. Okay, the clip start at one where you see the model clip in 10,000, 100,000, something like that. something big so that when you pull back you can see it once it's scaled. And close that. You now you're gonna go. You can either press, I think it's N, or you can come down here to Object. And this is where you're gonna scale it. And come down here to Object. And we're gonna go to Transform Properties. This is where you're gonna scale your your model. You want to click Link Scale. Make sure it's dark green. That way it scales everything when you change one dimension. I'm going to change my X dimension that I want it to be for this model to 38,678. Since we have Link Scale, when I hit Enter, it scales the other dimensions accordingly. So now your model is scaled. I'll pull back and show that to you here. So there's your model. Go into camera fly mode here for a second. Take a look at it. Also, you don't have to um, apply the displacement modifier like that. You can uh, select noise and just create uh, terrain that way if you want to. But the whole purpose of the height map, and you can even choose like real world satellite images and create a height map that way and get a height map and import it. I saw a tutorial on how uh, there's a certain mountain, Rainier, that he imported and made into a model in a game. That's pretty cool for his terrain. So okay, now that we have it here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into edit mode. I'm going to click mesh, normals, and I'm going to flip the normals because for some reason that X model export converter puts the texture on the wrong side, it puts it underneath. So flipping the normals puts the texture on top. The only problem then is flipping the normals to get the texture on top. It reverses the fields, it makes your hills valleys and your valley hills. To fix that you go to your strength mode here under displace and you make your value negative. Whatever you choose to strength, whatever number, just put a negative in front of it and it will get it back proper for you. Okay, make sure I did that correctly. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go back into edit mode. I'm going to choose edit faces. We're going to convert the faces to triangles because they need to be triangles instead of quads. So that we've converted that. And here you go. You've got your model. And now we're ready to import it. Well, first we've got to convert it. So, you can't, um, you can't import the whole thing because the maximum number of verts is 32,768 in radiant. So what we're going to do is we're going to only import a portion of it. I'm going to press edit mode. I'm going to deselect all so that I can select the piece I want. I'm going to press B for bound. Make a bounding box drag it and select a piece about that size. I'm going to invert the selection so I can choose the rest of it to get rid of it and delete it. Spacebar, edit, delete the faces. Hit tab to go back to object mode and that's the piece we're going to convert and import. So I'll go here up to file, export, and you want to import as wavefront.obj there. And this is what you're going to export into your model export folder. This is where you got to do it. It's a program called Duty 4. Model export. Where we have everything set up. And you have your X model converter. And your texture that you're going to use on it. You can choose selection only. Apply modifiers. You don't want rotate 90 degrees. Unselect that. You want edges, materials, UVs, normals, and objects. You want those seven. Export it. Minimize this crap here. Okay, and so here you see there's the object file that we just imported. And open up the object to X model export converter. 